Okay, so in a recent interview, Wiggins just said he loves the Warriors culture and would love to resign if they pay him. This is huge news. This means the Warriors can lock in at least one of their very talented soon to be free agents. The trade no one saw coming, Russell for Wiggins, was looking at as a mistake early on in the trade process. We all know now how much Wiggins has worked and grown as a defender, scorer, and scrapper. Last season, he literally did whatever the Warriors needed to get the wins, especially in the playoffs, and him locking down Tatum is a huge deal. Tatum being a top 10 player in the league himself was getting shut down one-on-one -on -one by Andrew Wiggins, the guy no one believed in as soon as, and as a season ago. Life is crazy. So today we will be evaluating his potential going into this NBA season and how we expect him to evolve his game. If you like the video, please like, comment, or subscribe for more updates on all things NBA. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Andrew Wiggins on the defensive end can guard 1 through 5. He held his opponents to under 22% from 3 last season. He was guarding the best players from each team last season and did a great job taking away the team's best options. He is a lockdown defender who has a big part in playing in the Warriors winning the championship last season. The season is if he brings the same level of intensity, I do see I don't see why they can't repeat with Wiggins being as an athletic menace that he is. Wiggins is a great 3 and D two-way player. I hope he can become a legit scorer who scores from 38 to 40% from three. He shot 40% from three last season. He also is a great slasher, driver, and rim hunter. His numbers increased so much coming from the Timberwolves to the Warriors. He is a lot more efficient and is a scoring machine, way better at three and mid-range. He improved on his shot selection and played with a lot more confidence once moved to the Warriors. He can get to the rim no problem and he also is a great shot creator who can get his own bucket. The way the Warriors transformed his efficiency is astonishing. He went from taking 1-3 a game at a 38% clip to 6 threes at a 40% clip. That is a huge step in his development as a shooter. His catch and shoot threes are elite and even off the dribble, he made 157 threes last season, which is more than three times his rookie numbers in Tim, uh, Minnesota. He has turned himself into a bucket getter. Him making threes opens up his game for drives, kickouts, for his teammates, you name it. He also is very efficient and has a high IQ. Wiggins becomes efficient since joining the Warriors. His IQ has made the game so much easier with his defense getting to the rim. He has one of the highest IQs in the NBA. The Warriors should look to hold on to him. His effective field goal percentage is 55%, second to only Steph Curry with 56%. This says a lot about his IQ and his willingness to adapt to help the team win. The ability to pick your shots and guard the best defenders as the best defender is always a huge benefit to a team. His team first mindset while still being such an elite player is a rare quality to see. He has almost every attribute a player needs to be a great uh, hearing from the teammates talking about how tremendous his work ethic is shows he is going to be getting better each year. His, ego, his no ego mentality is such a refreshing approach to the league. Wiggins says he wants to resign and he is willing to take a pay cut to stay with the team. This is huge news. He loves the culture of the atmosphere and his willingness to see the team grow is astonishing. I'm glad he is willing to work with the Warriors even though he is such an elite talent. To think this all came from a Minnesota trade is just wild. So excited to see his growth and what new attributes he brings to the season. Um, but what do you guys think? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day, y'all. DGSO out.